Okay, so this is part three of how to step past fear to love people in public. So key number three is using the eyes of your heart. We talked in our first two videos of how to get from point A to point B to pray for someone when you feel maybe the, the, the God nudge that you're supposed to go there. How do you get to go to pray for them? Because you have to actually overcome fear many times to do that. So in our first video, we talked about focusing outwards in love. Our second video, we talked about the three second rule, being instantly obedient to move that way. The third thing I want to talk to you about is using the eyes of your heart, the eyes of your imagination. Ephesians 1.18. Paul says, I pray that the eyes of your heart will be enlightened that you may know the hope of the calling that's in Christ Jesus, okay? So if I'm walking down the street and I see a group of people and I feel the God nudge to go talk to them, the first thing I may feel is like, oh no, I feel fear or anxiety or, or something like that. Maybe you feel that, maybe I will still feel that. Well, I have to overcome that to actually go talk to them. And so what I will do a lot of times is I'll say, Jesus, show me what's gonna happen in a minute. Jesus, show me uh, what's gonna happen. Because it says the, that the Holy Spirit was given to us and he will show us things to come. So I'll say, Lord, show me what's gonna happen. So then in the eyes of my heart, say there was two guys and a girl, I would see them and then I'd say, show me what's gonna happen. And then I will a lot of times see what's gonna happen. So I will see like say the girl putting her hand on his shoulder, praying, and then I'll see the, the guy praying for the other guy's leg to grow up. And so I'll, God will give me clues that that one guy has a shoulder injury, she's supposed to pray. And then when he gets healed, we're supposed to check the other guy's legs to grow out. And then and then I'll even see which leg's shorter and I'll know. I'll be like, oh, his left leg's a half inch shorter. He's got a right shoulder injury. She's supposed to pray. And then I'll see like a God encounter that they're going to experience God's presence. And so I'll know kind of what's supposed to happen. And then I'll get excited because I see it ahead of time. And then fear is actually replaced with excitement and expectation. So you use the eyes of your heart to, to, to get you excited about what God's going to do. Um, in that God encounter. Another time thing, sometimes God uses the eyes of my imagination or my heart to show me if the person's gonna say no right away. And if I see them saying no, then I'll ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, why are they gonna say no? And then he'll give me a key. He'll be like, hey, instead of starting out with a word of knowledge, start out with prophecy and tell him he's a good father. Tell him that this, 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 to open up his heart to receive a prayer for healing. And so use that. If God shows you, um, a way it's going to go, ask God, God, show me the way you want it to go. Show me how, just oh, help guide my steps. Because sometimes he'll even, in the eyes of my heart, I'll know how I'm supposed to pray too. Okay? So use that. Use the eyes of your heart, your imagination. And these are three things, just short videos, to help you get from point A to point B to be the minister of the gospel of love and power. Okay, I hope these blessed you. And don't forget, we have a Love Says Go Academy that just launched. It's a 12-week online school that to activate you, equip you in the supernatural. But it's all about God's identity, his love for you, and then being free to give that away. All right, so check out the link below. All right, be blessed. Remember, Jesus loves the world and love says go. Amen.